what's up it's Hope and I'm here to bring you another food haul video I've said in I can't tell you how many videos how much I love doing these um, and so I decided since today is my nine months anniversary and we went grocery shopping tonight um, that I would share a little bit or pretty much all of what we got um, so this video probably is going to be a little long but I want to share everything I found some new things um, and so I just kind of wanted to share um, kind of what I'm buying, what I like to eat. I talked a little bit about that in my video earlier today, um, but I found some really interesting finds. So I'm excited to share that with all of you. Now we do primarily all of our grocery shopping from HUB, um, and that's just a, a grocery store. We have a super HUB here in our town and they have pretty much everything imaginable. We literally go down every single aisle just looking at all the different um, varieties of things that they have there. Um, but I'm just going to start with produce first. Um, now I mentioned earlier that I love, I've been co incorporating lots of fruits and vegetables into my diet for a little while now. And, um, I especially love grapes. I love the green grapes. I got this big container. Um, and you know, obviously I won't be eating these by myself. The boys like them. Um, my husband likes them. My little brother likes them. So um, we'll be having these um, for a while. That's why I got the big container because typically um, everyone eats those. So I got a spaghetti squash because that's what we use for pasta nowadays. Um, my husband will boil it and we'll just string it out like spaghetti and use it for um, spaghetti and with marinara sauce or with meatballs. Super delicious. Love, love, love spaghetti squash. Um, I got some navel oranges. I love navel oranges. Um, I can't, now as far as oranges and even bananas, I can't eat the whole thing. I always have to like either eat part of it and then wait and eat the other half later or kind of just separate it out where I eat like half an orange in lunch, for lunch and half an orange for like breakfast with my Quest Bar. So um, if I'm having a snack, typically I try and let it make it be like a fruit like that. Um, but it just depends on the day. Um, I got some more bananas, um, and so I try to find, like, smaller bananas, not the big ones, and I kind of like if they're still green. I know that's weird, but, um, so I don't really get the giant, humongous, big bananas, because I know I'm not going to be able to eat the whole thing in one sitting. Bananas really fill me up, so, um, I'm not a big fan of bananas. I never really have been, but here recently, I've really started liking them, so that's, that's weird. Um, I got some bell peppers, some green bell peppers, and then I also got um, orange, red, and yellow bell peppers because I'm going to be doing some oven-baked fajitas. I also got um, chicken breast, cilantro, lime fajitas, and then we got um, some pork as well. Now, most of the time, I'll just take like boneless, skinless chicken breasts and put them in a pan and then put all the spices and onions and peppers and then bake it in the oven. I got the recipe off of Pinterest. I mean, it's not hard, obviously. It's just baked fajitas. But um, at this time, I tried, I wanted to try and do like the already portioned out fajitas like, just to see if it would be easier. I guess it prevents me from having to like cut all the meat up. So, um, yeah. Anyway, so it's easier for me if I already get it already chopped up so I don't have to worry about it. Um, and so I also got some lettuce because I'm going to be doing, we're going to be grilling some burgers this week, um, one night for breakfast. And so I like to do um, burgers wrapped in like lettuce as the bun. It's super crunchy, super delicious. If you haven't had a burger like that, I definitely recommend it. Um, typically we form like our own patties because I, you know, I'm not going to eat very much. So my husband will make me like a small one and then I'll be able to just wrap it in lettuce leaves with some cheese. Um, and some sour cream, and it is delicious, and some pickles. Super yummy. Um, my husband also got some uh, squash. I don't eat squash, so that's really just for him. Um, but another alternative for sure. Um, so that's all the produce. Up next, I'm going to show you um, the things I got from the frozen section. Now, also with those green bell peppers, um, bell peppers I'm going to be doing some Philly cheesesteak stuffed bell peppers. I've made those in the past, but I, what I did was I just used like some chopped roast beef lunch meat and then added in the onions and peppers. But tonight, I found this um, Philly beef steak, and it already has the onions and peppers already mixed in. Everything is already sliced. For three ounces, it's 100 calories and um, 13 grams of protein for 
for three ounces. So that's pretty good. And I'll probably be able to fit at least three ounces inside of the bell pepper. And what I'll do is I'll stuff the bell pepper, put it in the oven, bake it for a little while, cover it with provolone cheese, and it'll be super yummy and ready to go. So I was super excited to find this already fully cooked and everything. So it'll be a lot easier and I hope it's going to be delicious. So we'll see how that goes. Um, I got two things of turkey burgers. I love turkey burgers. These are already fully cooked, so all I have to do is microwave them um, or put them in a skillet. One burger is 180 calories and 16 grams of protein, which is really awesome. Now, the patties I can already feel are going to be a pretty big size, so I probably won't be able to eat the whole patty, probably just half. Uh, but I love these turkey burgers. They're super delicious. Um, I sometimes get, I've gotten the Genio turkey burgers before, but they're not already cooked, and so you have to make sure you get them done all the way. You can grill them or whatever, but I really like how these are already fully cooked. I can just stick them in the microwave. I'm obsessed with turkey meatballs. I love them so, so, so much. For six meatballs, it's 150 calories and 13 grams of protein. Now, because these meatballs are, little, they're like tiny, 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 I can't eat five or six meatballs at a time. Um, so I'm getting in at 13 grams of protein with six meatballs and what I'll do is I'll add a little bit of marinara sauce to it a little bit of Parmesan cheese super delicious I got like three packs because I love them so much um what else I got some more string cheese absolutely love string cheese y'all know that I love any kind of cheese so we also got some Mexican blend shredded and then I also got some mozzarella cheese because we're going to be building our own pizzas one night for dinner um, and so what I did was I got some mini flat outs. Um, I've never seen the kids version, but they're really, they're, they're super tiny. Um, and then for one flat out, it's 60 calories, 12 grams of carbs, and four of which is fiber, and then four grams of protein. So, but that's, it's tiny. I know that the boys and my husband and I will be able to eat you know, one of those or whatever and be full. So I felt like that would be really cool for the boys to be able to build their own pizzas. Um, so I'm super excited about that. I got some more P3s. My favorite is um, the turkey breast with marbled Colby Monterey Jack cheese and the almonds. So I got two of those. They're only a dollar now. So I'm super excited about that. Um, I got some more unsweetened almond milk for my husband. He loves making his protein shakes with that. Got some more sour cream. Love, love, love sour cream. I put it on everything. Um, I got some more egg whites. Um, I mentioned in my video earlier, my sleeve likes eggs again, which is really awesome. Um, and so what I do probably, typically on Saturday mornings, I'll get up and scramble the equivalent of one egg. And I'll put um, some Jimmy Dean turkey sausage crumbles with some cheese. Super delicious, super filling. Put a little sour cream on it. Um, my sleeve likes it now, so I'm super grateful for that. Um, and so I also got some more light and fit. I got this caramel macchiato kind just because I'm interested to see. Everyone knows I hate yogurt, but I'm really, really, really trying to see if I just haven't found my favorite flavor yet. Um, and so everyone knows the stats on these. Two times the protein, 80 calories. I mean, it's, they're awesome, awesome stats. And so I'm going to try this kind and see. Um, I got my husband the cherry kind because he actually does love yogurt. Um, and then I also got some uh, grated Parmesan cheese and Romano cheese. Now, the reason why I got these is because I found that recipe on Pinterest for making your own pizza crust. You use um, Parmesan and Romano cheese, garlic salt, um, a little bit of basil. Um, you use cream cheese and something else. And you like pour it into a, uh, like three eggs, I think. You pour it into a pan and you bake it in the oven and it forms like this awesome crust. And so I'm hoping to be able to try that. And if I, do if I like it, I'll definitely share the recipe with y'all. Constantly trying to find new recipes that um, fit this lifestyle that I'm now living that, you know, has really good healthy um, stats to it. So I'll let y'all know how that goes. Um, and then I also got some... Almond accent, honey roasted. I love, love, love these. Um, for one tablespoon, it's 40 calories, two grams of protein. Um, I, what I'll do is sometimes if I'm feeling like mixing up the whole Quest Bar thing, what I'll do is I'll heat a cookie dough, chocolate chip cookie dough, Quest Bar in the microwave, put a little bit of peanut butter on it, and then sprinkle some of these almonds on it. Super, super, super delicious. Protein packed, full on meal. It's so delicious. And the honey roasted is my favorite. So that's the kind that I always get. Um, and so I also got some tea. Y'all know how much I love this Red Diamond Splenda tea, zero calories. Um, I love it. I'm obsessed. I have it every day. Mm. Last but not least, we all know that I'm really strict with my diet and I pay close attention to what I'm eating, but 
Um, a couple of months ago, I came across this brand of um, really good, healthy, I guess, ice cream. And I've, I've been wanting to try it forever and just kind of felt, you know, like... You've, I've got it in my mind that's bad. You don't eat it. Um, everyone knows I'm an all or nothing kind of girl. So um, I took this journey full on, you know, going to do everything right. But the more I looked at the stats, the more I realized, hey, this really isn't that bad. And tonight when I was in HEB, I found it finally. Um, the ice cream is like a fudge sickle kind of, but it's peanut butter flavored. It's got nine grams of protein, 80 calories. Um, high in fiber, no artificial sweeteners. It's the Enlightened brand. The good for you ice cream is what they say. Um, and so like I said, 80 calories, 9 grams of protein in one little popsicle. Um, and so I'm super excited about trying these. Um, 80 calories. It's got 15 carbs, but 5 of those are um, fiber, 3 of those are sugar, and then 9 grams of protein. Super good stats. Um, you know, I'm going to try them and I'm going to let you know what I think about them. Hopefully they're delicious. Um, that'll give me kind of an alternative to something sweet. So super excited about that. Um, and I think that's all. Thank you so much for watching. I hope, I hope I've shared something new and interesting with you that you might be able to, you know, incorporate into your own diet. If you have any questions about anything, uh, feel free to, you know, comment down below or message me, email me, whatever. Um, I'd be happy to answer any of your questions. Um, and I will see you guys again next time. Bye!